Hey guys, what's up? It's Clary Bear here and we're doing a video for Aries right now. So welcome, Aries sun sign, moon sign, could be your Venus, your ascendant, cross watching. Doesn't matter if you just stumbled on this video, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here and hopefully you were, I mean, I know actually that you were drawn to this video for a reason if you're here and this is, you know, I know you're going to get something out of it. So blessings to you and I hope you realize that. So starting off with some overall energy, moon cycle energy, okay? Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. I think this is great just a few days before a very, very important full moon, okay? Aries, you're getting this reading on a, at a good time, okay? The full moon is coming, and yes, this is going to be a powerful one. It really is. This is what's up, okay? Big, big, big karmic return coming. And so it's kind of like get your shit together right now, because whatever you're putting out, you're going to get back. Make sure your vibe's good this weekend. <laughs> No pressure. Okay, before I pull the tarot cards, I am going to just go ahead and pull some moon energy as well. I am having a non-GMO vegan brewski after work, so. Just to let you know, wanna be transparent. Hope you guys are doing really well right now. You and your loved ones are safe, okay? Got some cancer, new moon energy. That's interesting. To me, right away, this is big, big duality energy here, okay? Big duality energy. You see up here at the top, we have the, you know, the yin, the yawn, and then we have the yin here. We have the sun and we have the moon. We have pincers and we have wings you know what i mean we have empty and we have full the moon cycles the fullness and the emptiness this is what it's about okay to be reminded of the full moon and then reminded of the new moon yeah and what we learned in the new moon what we kind of took with us we're going to start set it free here it's almost like we're spreading our wings okay so, I'm gonna jump right in here. Aries, what have we got for ya? What have we got for Aries? What has actually been going on with Aries? Over maybe the past few weeks, past week or so, like what's on your mind? What's important for Aries in this time? Okay. I feel like you are looking for answers. You're looking that's something going on, but it's also like your your feelings are guiding you, you know, something, I don't know if it's not, if you're not feeling right or you're just perplexed about something, some, something's making you feel some sort of way, okay? And I feel like you've been trying to figure it out, you've been really working and like searching for these answers. And I'm telling you right now, your feelings are a guide for you, so let that guide you, okay? Your feelings are there for a reason. Do not cover them up. Do not run from them. Do not hide from them. You have to face it. Get the good and move on. It's never going to get better until you face it. Okay? Face it right in the eye and know that you got the power. You have the power to overcome anything that you want to overcome right now. Anything. It doesn't matter if you think it's hopeless. You can turn it around with enough work. And I'm not talking, oh, force things to come into place, put into place things. No. Doing inner work. Okay? got a lot of videos already in my playlist um, also kind of coming up soon gonna have a big program whole program based on this work that we can do work on yourself get better okay every single day you need to be able to be the best version of yourself so that you can you know stay on your toes and hit every experience with the positive energy when you're hitting every experience with that positive energy that positive energy here positive energy there positive energy during this situation, especially when you start to overcome, you get so good at it that you're overcoming even shitty 
as situations and happenings are going on in your life and you're able to get through them like it ain't no thing. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It's not, it's like every, it's like the, the old adage, the old adage is, it's not how you, it's not what happens to you, it's how you react to things. Hello. How's it going? Good. I love you all. How was your day? Good. Joshy Tail. Hi. Hi, baby. How was your day? Good. Can you do your laundry? Because I need to, uh, love the stove. Uh, you can move mine over. I don't have food. Okay, well, I'll get to it in a minute. Okay. Sorry. Stay, kids telling me to do my laundry. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, Aries. So yeah, it's gonna feel real good when you're a little bit more in control. I feel like you need to gain, you need to kind of rein it in a little bit. Start walking the walk, following through. You gotta think the right thoughts. And you gotta feel the right feelings. And then you can walk the right walk. It's, you don't just start walking the right walk and getting all the results when you don't do the work. That's just not how it works. You gotta get your mind straight. You gotta get your heart straight. You gotta clear up. It's like clearing all your chakras, but you don't have to learn all about the chakras in order to do it. Again, you don't have to know all about the law of attraction in order to put it into action, okay? You can start doing the work even as an apprentice. You learn as you go. You hear? Okay, so the inner child work is where it's at. You just go back into your childhood. What? Just tell yourself, just ask yourself the question, what happened in my childhood? What did I? What happened in my childhood? Just act, act like a, your sarcastic friend is asking you that. And what would be your answer to them? Your funny, sarcastic friend. What would you say to them about your childhood? Okay, well, hmm, okay. Then you take that statement and you're like, why? And dig into it and feel it and understand it. So that's why it hurts because you got to go back in. You got to dig it out. You got to clean it out. You got to view it. If it's like a wound analogy is my favorite way to think about it. You go back and you say, what the hell is this? What's up with this? I'm finally going to look at him and stop running. I'm going to stop covered up with alcohol, drugs, and da 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 Who knows what else? You know what I mean? I'm going to focus on it. We're going to go into the wound, and we're going to figure out what the hell is going on. Because you can't reframe it. you gotta, you got to dig it out. you got to see what's going on in there before you can contain it. You know what I mean? And the way that you wash it out, the way that you clean it out, is just by putting positive you know, things in to replace it. you got to reframe it a little bit. And there's numerous ways of doing that. I've got lots of videos on this coming up. And also, like I said, check my playlist. Got Shadow Work playlist. Got the Law of Attraction playlist. Whatever I got, you want it. <laughs> Whatever you want, I got it. So, yeah, inner child work, where it's at, it's going to help you again feel good as soon as you start getting it. Like, the faster you get it, watch, 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 read, 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 learn, learn, learn. You'll be leveling up. You'll be feeling so good. Literally, guys, I've been doing a lot of traction for a long time, but when I started pulling together with the tarot and the twin flame energy, it snaps into place, okay? So I feel like this is the energy. It's like, don't worry about whatever it was that happened. Don't worry about the way that you used to roll, what you used to do. No, no, you got this. You may be, you know, Things may be a little unsteady because of the cycles, the change, so much change is going on right now. But you just know it's all under control. It's just a cycle. Just turn around and look forward into the, into the future. Stop worrying about the past. Okay? This is this is what we're this is what we're dealing with. Okay. So right now, you're you're directing the change. I mean, like I said, right now, as we speak, you can control it or not. You know what I mean? We can be in our ego or we can be manifesting. It's like the two choices. And and your choice, again, it affects every realm. It affects your mental, your spiritual, your emotional, your social, your physical, everything. Spiritual, like whatever. I know I didn't say them all. <laughs> every single one. Whenever, it's not like, oh, I'm going to work on this part of my life. Oh, well, I'm going to not see my person because I'm going to go work on this part of my life. No. We may try to compartmentalize stuff like that, but no. You work on it all at the same time. It will all snap into place whenever 
you get here and here and here all aligned. Okay, and again, you don't have to know about it. You just have to start to do it. Okay, that's why I get right into the switch work. I get right to the point. We want to make some change. We need to for the sake of this whole situation. All of humanity, you know, we need to go, go, go. We need to drop the old stuff that is not working. We can and we are. Watch us. Okay? We know. Sometimes you just wake up. Sometimes things happen and you're like, you know what? Your inner guide will guide you. You you don't feel that. You don't feel it's right. So it's not right. Doesn't happen. People can try to plan out our life. People can try to brainwash us. People can try to make us feel a certain way. Doesn't mean we have to feel it. We can focus on the positive, on the good, on tomorrow, and what we're gonna do, what we're gonna create in this life. You know, you gotta know that whatever you're giving attention to, that is what needs to be having this underlying pull, this under this real purpose. You have to be on purpose. Can't be some oh, you know. I want to go here. I want to do this for shallow reasons. No, you got to have that pure intention that carries you through. Otherwise, you won't make it. You'll get distracted. You get distracted by this and that. All there is to do in this world. People are asking you for stuff. Can you do this for me? Why don't you do this? You should do this. All these outside energies. When you listen within, that's when you really go far. Okay? So, into the future. Into... You know, these next, even this week, you guys, this week, I keep saying it's very, very big still. It's very, very big. Friday the 13th is huge. Things are going to happen. They can either happen real fast or you're stuck for a long ass time. Like it's black and white. Friday the 13th is huge. It's huge. He, it's funny that people always say, oh, 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 you know, Friday the 13th, spooky, wooky. And here we go. Like this full moon is a big one. It really is. Are you doing good? What are you, what are you putting forth? What is your energy? That's why again, we go right now, we go deep, we go hard, we go within. Because you can rest on Saturday <laughs> or maybe Sunday like depending on the days. Get pure with yourself. Strip it down. You may want to take a fast, you may want to take a cleanse, not necessarily food wise more important to get your mind right to make sure that your influences you know you are like the closest five people to you you act like them you start to you know you'll start to talk like them you learn from them it's your vibration that you're carrying around make sure those five people are who you want to really be having that effect on your life it's important what you focus on will flourish so don't let yourself get distracted by all of these petty things, petty feelings, little small, you know, annoyances. People blow them up and they act like they're the most important thing in the world. Somebody come put my fire out. No, don't even give that your attention. Focus on the good and you will have more. If you, you know, what you think you will get. And if you think you have an endless supply of love and knowledge and wisdom coming through from the divine, you will get it. You know, why not level up? Why not focus on something good? Why not focus on saving the world? Why not focus on being a messenger of goodness and love? Why not help to balance out the, you know, a lot of us, we don't even realize it, but part of our big purpose is to help transmute this energy, this negative energy. And that's why I love eating vegan. I'm transmuting energy every day as I as I eat. I'm not adding to the suffering, suffer, extra suffering on this planet. I'm helping, causing more people to go vegan, more people to eat, you know, vegan meals, causing less suffering in the world. Who doesn't want that? Causing less suffering, you know, helping people own themselves. This is what you do. You put it out, you get it back. When you're on that right vibration where you know it's coming back anyway, that's when you get your shit right. You know it's coming back. If you know that, then you're in control. You know? It's kind of simple in a way. You got this. You know what's up. You just have to realize it. You just have to remember it in any given moment. You may know what's up now, but what about tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock? You know what I mean? 
it's, it's your feelings then, your feelings now, your feelings in the future. When you make good decisions, you get better results and you go forward. You make bad decisions, you keep on getting negative you know, results that'll make you feel self-conscious and you'll own that up and oh, this is what I drew to myself and you'll keep on drawing the same thing to yourself. And that's all you will see. Ask for help, ask your angels. Please help me see, help me awaken, help me change. Help me release what I anything I need to release. Be vague. You have to ask for the help and they will help you. They're here for you. I'm here for you. Stay subbed. Don't forget to like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Hope to see you real, real soon. Take care.